To create the other three panels, you just need to stick to your design. For instance, right here on the upper right hand side, I wanted to have one big image that went across here, one, two, and three other images here. And for this one, I just want to have some sort of a logo here and the words come out and play. However, I am only dealing right now with the images, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one and this one and this one. So when I go ahead and I have all of them done, it should look something like this. This would be the lower left, just two pictures sandwiched together. This would be the upper right. Again, one picture, two pictures, three pictures, and the other one up here. And my lower right is just simply a logo that does have images and that does have words. Once you have these, you want to go ahead and save them appropriately. So for instance, the upper right, I can go ahead and go to File, Save As, TIFF, and save it as upper left, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and open my InDesign document. And now you can see the four quadrants here with my guides. And I'm going to go to the File menu and choose Place. After that, I'm going to go ahead and select from the window upper left because that's how I named the graphic that's going to go on the upper left. Click open. Now I go here where I want to place the graphic. I click once and now I have my graphic place where I want it. I'm going to bring it more towards the center. So there it is. And I continue to do this with the other graphics. Once I've brought over all the four items that I want to place here, which in this case these are graphics, I want to double check that it went to the right layer. So if I click on the layers, I quickly realize that I place all the graphics inside the objects layer. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to go ahead and be able to turn off the layers as I please. What I'm doing right now, I'm holding the shift key to select all these items, the four items, because they're in the wrong layer. And I'm going to go ahead and go to edit. And I'm going to say cut. That will take them off of here. And then I'm going to open my layers palette. I'm going to choose this layer, which is the image layers. Then I'm going to go to edit and choose paste in place. And what that will do, it will put all my files or my photos inside the images layer. I'm going to lock that later by layer by clicking right here so that I don't accidentally move any of the images. I'm going to go ahead and next work on the text. So I'm going to click on the text layer and I'm going to go ahead and minimize this palette. According to my sketch, I'm going to go ahead and uh, need the words New Orleans here and then come out and play over here. So to do that, I am going to go ahead and make sure that I am on the right layer, which is text. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the text tool to go ahead and type in the text. But I will go ahead and show you this on the next movie.